Well, here we are in Williams, Arizona. I think this is our fifth or sixth uh, Sturgis trip, right? Uh, I'm going to go with six. I think it's six. Yeah. So we're going to get through Durango, Colorado. We know that there's a storm cell over by Salida, but we may need to push through that. Uh, yeah, and I think the boys are all ready. Everybody's up. We had <laughs> breakfast. Everyone's uh, tightening down their bags and putting their rain covers on. It's sunny and beautiful now, but we'll see what's ahead. I don't know if everyone did have breakfast. Did Luke or Lance? Uh, you know what? I don't know if they actually did. They don't want it. They're they fasting. They don't want it. They're fasting today. <laughs> so another great day ahead. Uh, what miles you think we're gonna do five six hundred we got to do at least 500 all right 500 all right. you see it right there and look I won't lose the phone today all right that's okay good. That's I good. roached that thing <laughs> it's bad news hey. so let's get on the road and head towards Durango all right see you on the road, road. Good breakfast. We're out on the what is this 89A? Yeah, this is the 89A. We just blew through Flagstaff uh, on the outskirts of that. We're at about 7,000 feet. It's a nice morning. We're gonna cut off at 160 and go through Cayenta, just below Monument Valley. So uh, should be a good run today. Get into Durango for lunch. I mean, what a difference a day makes. 115 yesterday in the desert in California. Now we're up in beautiful 85 degree weather. I love it up here in Flagstaff. I mean, hey, could be my future home. Yeah, it's got a bit of a haze to it today, so I, there must be some forest fires. Yeah, well. Uh, usually it's so beautiful and clear. You get all the pines. It's just spectacular. Well, I hope you guys have all enjoyed the rip through the mountains there. And uh, we're heading for Durango, so what? We'll uh, see them down the road? We'll see you down the road. What's going on? Quick uh, little road stop here. Uh, we lost a couple of our boys. Juan, I guess uh, maybe his bag was coming loose, but hey, I'm trying to get the GoPro to work. Got some plant watering going on. What uh, what happened here? My bag almost fell off. I was riding, I looked back, and it was just flapping in the wind. So I like reached back, got it, pulled over, and uh, I had to readjust the straps because I put them on the wrong way. What's up, dude? What's up? Hey guys, here we are in Tuba City. It's off the 160, we're gonna head to Cayenta. We came up the 89A through Flag, right? Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. So we'll probably eat lunch in Cayenta and then head to Durango. But we're gonna stop at uh, Four Corners and hang out and show everybody. I, ho I hope it's open, because last time we had the ladies, it wasn't. it wasn't open. So we'll see you down the road.
and went Fiesta style. I had a couple tacos. Lance had a couple tacos. Luke's still trying to figure out his belt. <laughs> and what did you have? The crunch wrap? Crunch wrap supreme, a taco. You know. Anyway, we're here in Cayenta. We're going to head up to Durango. It's about two hours, two and a half hours. Probably have a little bite there, maybe a beer. See you down the road. What's happening back there? Well, you know, we're on the uh, 160 cruising through Arizona and we had a little mishap today, didn't we? Yeah, unfortunately out here on these two-lane roads, sometimes uh, some of these guys build these trailers out of truck beds and they don't put any lights in them and the guy basically was stopped on the 160. Josh and I were up front. Uh, we scooted to the right on the shoulder and were able to get by and we had one of our guys, only move he could make is go left and the guy turned left as soon as he went left so it was it was all on at that point well I was watching the entire thing unfold and luckily he had an evasive move he went left with him and he paralleled into him but he did make connection with the trailer and truck he went down but nothing happened to his body at all except his leg and I think it happened when he hit his own bike yeah po possibly so you know but I gotta tell you you gotta be really alert and you know, keep your eyes open on these roads, especially if you got a trailer with no lights on it. Right, and uh, luckily he was sitting up, he was there, he was coherent, he was helicoptered out, and uh, he, the last thing he said to me is, you guys get going on this trip, keep it going, man. Yeah, he's like, go ride. So, stuff like this can happen. Yeah, it can, but uh, stay alert, guys, pay attention. Be safe, and uh, we will uh, see you down the road. Down the road. say where we are but we could be in one of four states <laughs> yeah it's pretty exciting Colorado we Utah New Mexico Arizona yeah we're here at the Four Corners um, what a cool place uh, this was established in 1868 nice by surveyors and astronomers of the US government and so they just marked it with a stone before then they came back and found the stone was ruined pushed over rocked out so they made this whole new kind of what is this is a it a monument? It's a monument. Yeah. It's a monument. So we'll, we're going to get on it and put all of our, we'll get all of us in, each one of us in a couple states there. And we got to this on a two lane. And maybe you can do all four states. Yeah. <laughs> we'll try that. So, hey, we'll see you down the road. Oh, that's awesome.
I came on. What's up, dude? Well, we are cruising into Durango and it's like really beautiful weather right now. Yeah, it's uh, really cool down and uh, I just saw the Mesa Verde uh, turn off. We need to go down into that park sometime. Yeah, we can. I think that's where all those cliff dwellings are where the Indians used to, to live up in the cliffs there. Gotcha. Well, then we should make a plan and do it. I mean, we're always on the road and we're always going to be on the road, so what the heck? Yeah, so uh, Dom looks like he's got about a half a tank of gas, so I think we're going to be good. Yeah. But hey, we're about 35 miles out, so uh, because of our little issue we had today, you know, Durango, Durango will be the stop for the evening. Yeah, we're at 6,700 feet right now. It's 79 degrees, so I'm loving that. Look at the clouds. Beautiful. And what's this truck doing ahead of us up here? He's going to turn in this road right here. Gotcha. Well, yeah, this is uh, really pretty. Uh, we just left Cortez and we kind of climbed up in altitude and now we're headed to uh, Durango and I think we're going to have this kind of weather all night. It's going to be beautiful. You know, it's been great. Since we left California, we've seen a lot of green. The monsoons have really given a, a, a worthy drink to these uh, areas here. Well, I got to tell you, those there in Arizona, I mean, did you see all the water out there? Oh, yeah, flooded. It just flooded everywhere. But hey, the desert needs that, you know? Oh, yeah. They thrive it, on that. Absolutely. It fills up all their aquifers and everything, so for sure. Yep. Well, right on. So we're going to have a great dinner and a, see what happens in Durango. Yes, sir. All right. See you down in Durango down the road. You got it. Later. Uh, pulled over, big dog. I think the throttle cable just broke. Good times. If you had to tell the people of America one thing, what would it be? Hey, the open road is full of surprises. That's what I can tell you. Is that all? Uh, yeah, you know, we're just chilling in the shade right now on the side of the road trying to fix a throttle cable. How's it coming, boys? Are we talking? All right, well, what we have here is we got a, we got a custom bike with custom problems. This right here is supposed to have something on the end of it, and it's no longer there. Hence, we're on the side of the road. What is it? Well, it's the little doohickey that goes into the throttle. Right, it's your thro throttle wire, right? We're missing that now. Yeah. Yeah. So you snapped it because you're pulling so hard up this hill. Oh, yeah, I was pulling hard. I was going fast. This is not the first time that you leave. Well, I'm not going to say. These performance baggers are incredible. The W3 made it all the way last year. You didn't even know if it would. I love you. Check, check this out. Check it. So we have a, a little cable issue. So we're going to get it fixed. Dom has a push pull on his Dyna. Dom's uh, over here. He's... So we're going to kind of repair this. And then tomorrow, I guess we're going to leave late out of Durango because we're going to have to find a place to uh, get a new cable.
Wow, what an incredible day. We're here at the Strader Hotel in Durango, Colorado. We had a little accident that happened, and then we busted the throttle cable. Thank God we had a 2005 Dyna with us so we could get the pull back from. <laughs> hey, right? cus custom bikes, custom problems. But nonetheless, we still hit a buck five on the way here from the breakdown. So, I mean, we're feeling good, we're safe, and uh, we're here. We ripped the canyon, it was yeah. great. We are safe, and uh, let's get some grub. I'm really hungry. Down the road. Five, four, three, two, one. Do Luke, it live, baby. Up? Do it live. What's What's up, Luke? We're here in Durango, Colorado. Sat down after a fairly rough day. You know, where are we staying? I don't know where we're staying. The Strader yeah, Hotel. Strader. Louis Lamour this, this used to write his novels oh, in one of the rooms. Up you know there. what? I traveled the country one time. We had CDs, Louis Lamour CDs. I'm telling you. And we did the, the deal. The wife and I, we were it's just amazing. like, we're cruising. Room 222 was his room, and we yeah. went in it. I love it, dude. You Louis Lamour, I mean, we, we did it. We did the, the whole so, series. Lance anyway. and I were in front of the room and we were trying to do a little vlog on the ride's wife to Durango. Okay. And a guest opened his room. Then he let us in there. And we filmed the whole thing. You there was it. a coffee table where you he used to were there. We yeah. were there. So what do we need to do tomorrow? Are you going to well, throw tomorrow, that back? Well, we need, to, we need to gain a little distance tomorrow. We're a little behind. We want to go through Rocky Mountain National Park, but there's some issues. I don't know if it's fires or slides or something. I think we have other something. issues. We got to get you a throttle cable. No, my throttle cable is good. I hit well, one, Dom. I hit not. 105. Yes, you did. No, Dom's good. Okay. He can manage. But we're gonna get him a cable tomorrow. We'll figure it out. It's just a return cable. We so return cable. we were going to go to Lusk, but we may have to go to Cheyenne. And then we'll jump into um, Deadwood and we'll go, go to the Boar's Nest. Why not? The Boar's Nest for sure. Yeah. You need to subscribe to the YouTube channel, the website, and all that good stuff. Tell your friends. What do you mean, what? Ring a bell, give a thumbs How up, about, comment. Let's talk, about, let's talk about asparagus for a second. Try that. Why does it give you stinky pee? Stinky and we will. Or stinky pee? Stinky pee. Yo! <laughs> See you down the road. I lost my way.